What's up, Affordable Armory folks? How y'all doing? Today, I'm gonna do a video about these magazines from Shield Arms. They're for the Glock 43X or the Glock 48, and what's really cool about these is they hold 15 rounds. So without further ado, let's head over to the workbench and we'll talk about them. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you'll know when future videos come out. Let's get started. Okay, so here we are at the workbench, and you can see I've got my Glock 43X here. I'm still running the Streamlight DLR6 on there. Um, running this in an appendix carry rig with a spare mag carrier, and I just pulled this one out of the gun and this one out of the mag carrier. So that's why those are loaded. The Shield Arms ones are not loaded. Um, as you can see, the gun itself is clear. No magazine, nothing in the chamber. Anyway... So, what's different about these Shield Arms magazines? Well, you might notice that they have this glossy kind of finish to them. That's because these are made out of metal and not polymer. And uh, that's one of the ways that they were able to squeeze 15 rounds into them. As you can see, it says right there, 15. And um, the factory mags only hold 10. So, let's do a little side-by-side -side comparison here. You can see that the taper is quite a bit different there. Um, you can see a little bit of the differences in the shape. And one thing to note is that the notch is only on one side, so unfortunately the Shield Arms magazines are not ambidextrous. So keep that in mind if you're wanting these and you're left-handed or you're running the mag release on the right side of the pistol. Uh, these magazines will not work. Um, so Shield Arms recommends that you run their uh, magazine release with the gun. I have that installed. Um, so far, I'm fine with it. It doesn't really feel much different than the factory one. Uh, I'll throw up some pictures so you can see the differences side by side. Um, but uh, it's not really any different aside from the fact that it's metal and it's not ambidextrous. So there you can see it's it's only going to go the one way. Uh, again, I pointed that out on the magazines. The magazines are also not ambidextrous. They only have the cut on one side. Um, yeah, so other than that, it's a metal magazine. It holds five more rounds than the factory magazine. And uh, that's about it. Uh, throw up some shooting footage just so you can see that they do work. So far I've put, um, well, me and one other person combined have put a total of 250 rounds through these magazines. So far I've had uh, one failure to lock open, which could very well be my thumb riding the slide release, so I'm not really calling that a malfunction. Um, and the other one was the guy I loaned them to, he shoots IDPA and he wanted to try them in his Glock 48, and uh, he said he had uh, issues with one magazine failing to uh, drop free. And he marked that one, so it would be this one. See, he marked it for me. I haven't had that issue, and again, I have the Shield Arms mag release installed in my gun, and he did not. He had the factory mag release. So keep that in mind. Um, I would say those two failures are very, very minimum and of little concern. I would be much more concerned if they were having feed issues. So if I was getting failure to feeds or double feeds or, or things of that nature, then I would be a lot more concerned with the reliability or lack thereof of these magazines. So like I said, right now I'm 250 rounds in and so far so good. So a couple things I want to mention real quick before I wrap this video up. Uh, number one, I am not affiliated with Shield Arms. I don't have a discount code for you. I bought these with my own money to use in a gun that I carry frequently. Uh, I wanted to see how they would work out for me personally, and I'm just sharing that information with you. So this is not a paid advertisement, and like I said, I don't have a discount code for you or anything. Sorry if that's what you were here for. Uh, the second thing, if you've decided that you want these, then you should probably get on their email list because these things sell out real quick. So I missed out on the initial order because at the time they just weren't in my budget. Uh, the second order uh, that they announced by the time I got to their website to go on there and buy them, they had already sold out. And 
And so the third time that they said, hey, we have them in stock, I was able to order them. Uh, and you could only order them in limited quantities. So that's why I only have two. I got the pack of two magazines and the mag catch together. It was sold as a bundle. Um, I just checked the website yesterday and they do have them in stock right now. So if you want them, go get them. And without further ado, let's wrap this video up. So there you have it. There's my video on the S15 magazines from Shield Arms. So far, I like them. Um, I'm not sure that I'm ready to carry with them yet, but I'm gonna keep shooting with them. And uh, when I get to about 500 rounds and I still have the same level of reliability that I've had so far, I'm probably gonna start carrying with these. As always, head over to affordable-armory.com. That's where the blog lives. That's where all of our affiliate links are so you can save yourself some money on something you were gonna buy anyway. Uh, that's where all of our social media links are and you can also pick up some merch like this here hat and help support the channel that way Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you next time